All right, let's talk respirators. Uh, some people use respirators when they are working with epoxy, some people don't. Uh, so is it something that you should look at? First of all, you should do your own research. Don't rely on what the internet tells you, what Facebook tells you, you should or should not do. Um, I started by looking at the MSDS sheet, uh, which is the material safety data sheet. Uh, it tells you everything you need to know, know and way, way more uh, about the chemicals that you're using and pretty much all chemicals, including even cleaning chemicals, things like that will have an MSDS sheet. Um, and generally it is used more in um, industry than it is in resident, uh, residential use. So uh, you may or may not have heard of it. So when I checked mine, which I use KS Resin, it suggests using a respirator if you are not working in a well ventilated area. Now, I care about my lungs, um, so I would rather be a little bit safer. Um, so I generally will use a respirator when I'm working with epoxy. Um, and I keep my door closed uh, when I'm not using, uh, when I'm um, not in the room. Um, and I try as much as possible, I do not use a space that is um, in my main house. So I prefer a garage, shed, outside, something like that. Um, so I use a respirator. You can use a half mask respirator. Um, or you can use a full face respirator. The full face will be better because your eyes um, are still a point of contact. If there is vapors in the air, they're still getting into your eyes. So again, um, up to you. So I have a couple respirators to show you. So first of all, I have a full face respirator. Uh, this is one that I got off Amazon. It has an olive green, um, it's a North brand, also Honeywell brand. Uh, they're the same thing pretty much. So um, this one is pretty much an all-purpose uh, respirator for things like dust, organic vapors, formaldehyde, pretty much does everything. So it's, it's a really good option, but it is a little bit more expensive. Um, to save some money, you can use find one that is specifically organic vapor. Although I would suggest one that does dust as well because then when you're doing things like sanding, that's helpful. When you're not using your respirator, keep it in a bag. If it does not come with a bag, just get an oversized Ziploc bag. Uh, the reason being, you can actually see the respirator, right? Or you can see the filter part right there. It is constantly filtering. Whether you are breathing or not, it is filtering the air. So by putting it in here, you're prolonging your filter. Very important. Here is a, another respirator that I got. Now I got this one at Harbor Freight and you will see on here that it says organic vapor right there. So I know I can use it for this. Again, it came with a Ziploc bag. If this one goes, then um, I would just be getting a new one. Just get a new bag. So to put on the respirator, you're gonna All right, so you may have noticed that uh, when I put the respirator on, I covered the vents. It's a little harder with these ones because um, I have tiny little hands. Um, much easier with this style. See how much smaller that is. So you cover the vent over and you'll notice that it sucks to your face. Now, if you, know, if you feel any air around here or if it doesn't suck to your face, the respirator is not properly fit. You need to adjust it, especially with the full face. You're gonna have to be really careful around the hairline. Uh, make sure that it's really tucked out, pull the hair out. Um, don't pull your hair out, just pull around the respirator. Um, that way you get a good seal because if you don't have a seal, it's not really doing a whole lot. It's helping a little bit, but not as much as possible. Uh, so there it is, that is, putting on your respirator and uh, fitting it.